I destroyed my house for billions of views. Here's how. All right, already we're starting knocking holes in the wall. This video did hundreds of millions of views, but there's something I really like about it. Listen to the music, and then I'm gonna show you something really cool about how this happened. Watch this. You can start to see who the characters are going to be. Uh, and the title of this video was How to Fix a Hole in the Wall. Uh, we have a hole in the wall. It does not look like I'm fixing it yet. This uh, is the black outline, which is really going to make this thing pop. So the, ba the black outline actually is the most difficult part. Uh, there's a fun thing happening here. Watch this. Okay, all right. I'm going to pull the whole thing off. Let me see. Yes! So if you ever have a hole in your wall, you can paint something like this, make it a part of the wall. Look at that. Yes. Now there's a hole in the wall, but I did fix it because it now like there's a, a mouse coming out of the hole. Tom and Jerry. I absolutely love that. Now here's another problem that sometimes you run into. Okay, You end up with uh, your daughter drawing on the wall. Uh, so here, I want to like go back just for a second and, and look at uh, my daughter drawing on the wall. Okay, Now, real talk on this one. Obviously, because I'm filming this thing, I knew what I was going to do. So I told my daughter, I gave her permission. I was like, hey, do you want to draw Mickey Mouse on the wall? And she was like, yes, absolutely. And she did the best job playing pretend like she was in trouble. When the camera stopped recording, she goes, I'm not really in trouble, right? I was like, no, sweetheart, you did amazing. But check this out. Oh I designed this uh, really cool layered stencil. So it's going to look like Mickey is painting Mickey. And it's still, this is right outside my daughter's bedroom. They absolutely love it. And uh, this was one of my most successful paintings. But here's the cool thing about these layered stencils is you get to see the artwork come together layer by layer. The black is usually the last one because that's the outline that really finishes it up. We learned. Don't draw on the walls. That's right. Three. It was so difficult because I had to tell her, you get to draw on the wall, but don't actually draw on the wall all the time. I absolutely love that one, and it still hangs up there. Now, this is another one where I'm actually not going to destroy the house. I'm going to fix something. We had some exposed wires coming out of the wall because I took something off of the wall. I forget what it was. Uh, but the thing is, I thought, wouldn't it be cool to have a coming out of the wall? Uh, we might bleep that out, me saying that word. But uh, there's something coming out of the wall uh, with our Joker. This is my favorite uh, Joker, uh, personally. Listen to the music. It even sounds kind of like Prince and that Batman soundtrack. So the way I designed this was actually kind of cool. I took a frame from the original Batman movie, combined it with a promo shot of Jack Nicholson in makeup, recolored his, his stuff because from that frame of the movie... He's not wearing purple, he's actually wearing black, but that looks awesome. Now, this one's a crazy one. This is one of my newer videos, and it just did several hundred million views. Uh, don't do that, by the way. I'm going to pause it right there. Don't cut into granite and then uh, blow the, what's the stuff called? Silica. Don't do that. Apparently, I uh, had some very disease-causing dust in the air. At that, uh, Okay, it, it was bad. Commenters told me I did a bad thing. But this tube goes in, and I get to paint. Now, here's the thing. You're going to see that sometimes you actually get to reuse your stencils. This is a great example. You guys just saw me paint Tom and Jerry. This is Tom and Jerry again, but doing something totally different. It's on the granite countertop, and I have a bad scar on my thumb from this video. I sliced my thumb off in this video. Now, this is the short edit, so you're not going to see it in this. But at the end, here's the bit. We're going to put Tom and Jerry on the counter with a trash hole so you can cut vegetables and put the trash right into the trash. It was a cool thing. So right here, hey, now, I... I cut it out, and it ends up looking really cool. But uh, here, I'm going to pause it right there so you can see Jerry running into the hole. Right when I'm cutting the vegetables, I took that knife, crazy sharp knife, 
I sliced right through my thumb and immediately it was an ER trip and uh, my thumb, this has been what, a month ago? I'm still not fully healed. Uh, don't play with knives, uh, especially if you're doing a YouTube video and going kind of fast. So this is really my daughter's dresser and uh, she wanted to paint this one. So you can see that I'm like helping her uh, learn how to paint. The biggest thing, if you're gonna do some spray paint art like this, uh, there's a couple cool tips that are good. And it was what I was telling my daughter at the what time. Color next? Back up, go farther away. You actually don't wanna be as close oh, you as you think uh, to this thing. So let's see if you can see who it is that's being painted. you start to see it right and now of course we got it it's the uh, it's the whole cast of scooby-doo now one thing i really love to do is pick music that goes with the vibe of those characters actually taking the drawers out painting these so i had to do the stencil again on the inside of the drawer to make it really crisp and then it looks like this so uh we ended up breaking that uh oh gosh Okay, you can hammer a rake into your wall, but really quick on the last one, that Scooby-Doo one, uh, I broke that dresser later, unrelated to the painting. Uh, we put it in the driveway for bulk trash and uh, my neighbor took it. So now the Scooby-Doo dresser is living at my neighbor's house. Uh, I think he fixed it up, it was great. If he's watching, I'm uh, honored that you liked it. Okay, now this is a crazy one. So we've got uh, some green goblin thing being painted above a whole bunch of holes that I smashed into the wall using a rake. Now, really, all we're looking at is interesting ways to combine this spray paint art with real life things in the wall. So, uh, of course, we have uh, what you can now see is, I think you probably got it, The Grinch. And I loved this amazing shot from uh, the movie where he's on that ladder. Uh, so what I did is I took frames of the movie because you never see the whole ladder actually in The Grinch Stole Christmas. And I, I stretched it out, got the stencil. But this was the really cool idea to make a real Christmas tree using candy canes. This really lived right behind our Christmas tree and the gifts were really under it. It was awesome. Try this. That's a real thing that you can do, by the way. Okay, so before I put uh, sandpaper on it, a drill will totally unwrap uh, a, a roll of duct tape. There's a lot of fun things you can do with it. I've had it as like an extreme lint roller, but this. Yeah, that actually will sand the wall because basically I had a textured wall and I needed it to be flattened a little bit. That was actually the hardest part of this project. But then all of the black paint here is actually blackboard paint. Uh, so, because what I wanted was this awesome, famous image of our man Bart, who's, uh, you know, doing the, it's from the opening credits where he's saying, I will not, and whatever he got in trouble for, I will not skateboard down the school hallways or whatever. But because it's real blackboard paint, that means that my girls get to have real blackboard chalk in their bedroom. This is my daughter's bedroom. They really do use that. Now, people could not believe I was spray painting on my motorcycle. All right, motorheads, if you're a bike guy, this is a Kawasaki Vulcan. I love cruising. And uh, I've, I've decorated my bike with different uh, decals and stuff before, but this was the first time I decided to spray paint on it. It actually turned out great and uh, still looks really good. But look at how good this thing turns out. Wanted that pinup style girl. Now the cool thing is, is when you paint like this, as long as you tackle that spray paint immediately after painting, you can do some cleanup with uh, just a little bit of WD-40 or a razor blade peeling it off. And that looks amazing. Okay, now this one was one of my very first paintings. So uh, this is on my Pathfinder. Uh, I thought it was funny to draw uh, not a Pathfinder on a Pathfinder. I think uh, this ends up being Mustang, Camaro. 
Oh, don't kill me in the comments. Don't kill me in the comments. Look, I'm an old car guy. I have a 1951 Studebaker. My dad had a uh, 1924 Model T when I was growing up. My brother's got a T-Bird from 1956. Well, I like the old stuff. Uh, but this was a really cool thing to put on the back of the car. When you uh, spray paint on the edges like that, it creates a glow like this. Look at that glow around the car. It ends up looking really cool that you can only get with spray paint. And that lived on the back of my car for uh, you know almost a year until I scraped that off and painted over it with uh, Tupac. But right now... pause it right here this was actually the most expensive stencil that i've done because every character needed its own stencil and every character had like five to seven layers so uh look how quickly this comes together five, six, seven, gotta make a show. this was the hardest painting that i did up until this point and uh it's hanging in my buddy's house now uh, but the cool thing, check this out. Okay, so I'm cutting out a duplicate. So a lot of people actually uh, were angry at me in the comments. They were like, you're destroying a beautiful photograph. No, I'm not. Okay, look, they sell these things at bulk. They're not expensive. You can get them online. And I bought two of them, okay? One canvas where I shattered the glass over it so that I could paint on it. But then the other canvas I cut. So I made my own stencil out of the canvas, which is easy. You don't need to be an artist. All you need to do is cut around the picture. So I cut around the guys and their feet, and here's what I get to do. Line it up, and now you can paint over that with the glow uh, that I did previously on that car. And now look at this. Everything has a really cool glow, but you keep the integrity of the original black and white uh, on underneath whatever was covered. And you get Looney Tunes doing lunch atop of a skyscraper. Man, that looked awesome. What's more exciting is when I destroy something like this. Okay, so this is in uh, my daughter's bathroom. Knock off that uh, hole right there. I do patch that hole up, but first we're gonna paint a minimalist drawing of a Disney character. Listen to that music. It doesn't it have like a cool pirate theme to it? Listen. This was cool. So then you got I got an old frame for very cheap and I found several different hooks. This hook looked perfect so that my daughters could hang their washcloth right next to the sink. Check out how awesome this turned out. You ready for this? I see it. You ready to see what it looks like? Oh, it right. Yeah. Woo! Oh. It's Captain Hook and Mr. Smee. Mr. Smee's not in this one, but it's like Captain Hook. Now, this one's a weird one, and this one I, I still use every single day. Why am I hitting a key into the wall? Uh, you will see in a second. Uh, I thought that the way that we were doing this art, again, the cool thing about this art is you get to see it come together just color by color which is why cartoons are so good for the kind of art that I'm doing, because you can do these solid block pieces of color as you get the thing. So uh, maybe you can start to see who it is going to be. That's my favorite part of putting these together, is how long until you know, oh, okay, it's Batman. Uh, right here, check this out. It's really cool, let's get the whole thing so I put in his utility belt tons of hooks, and now all of the keys for my garage uh, live on Batman's utility belt. And it's a cool piece of art that goes right as you walk into the house. Now, I, I did several of these jackets for my daughters. Uh, this one was, I think, my daughter's favorite because it has tons of characters on it. And uh, you get to try and guess which character is which, right? So obviously, like, Big red hair, we're gonna know who that is. Or last one, this is my favorite. It oh, 
and what I loved about this was kind of this mashup. So I love Friends, right? The sitcom. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we took the Friends logo, but instead of having Ross, Rachel, Chandler, all of those uh, people, we actually had uh, the princesses from Disney and a hidden painting on the inside of Tinkerbell, where it's not multi-layered. It's just one layer where you get this cool outline of Tinkerbell. Check this out. Yes. Ready? Well, the cool thing is all that overspray actually ends up looking funky and cool. I really love that. Now, this is a cool experiment. This is weird. We've got uh, four or five pieces of glass here, and I'm going to paint this. This is in my garage, but I'm painting on each layer individually, and then we combine them for a 3D painting. Watch this. We end up with a 3D painting. This one's a cool one because it's solid. So that whole thing goes yellow because that's going to be the backdrop of everything. And then this one's the border. So this is the negative space. It's the same concept as my other paintings because it's layered stencils. But instead of painting them all on one piece, it's on several different pieces hanging there from my garage. Check this out. I want to see. Can I see? And it creates this 3D look, but as you move it like that, the painting comes together. It ends up really cool. We now have it in a cool frame so you can see the 3D stuff. Uh, now, this is my fireplace outside. Uh, I love taking existing canvases and painting over them and combining that art in a cool way. This one, I was actually surprised this one didn't do even more views because the painting turns out so crazy. So if you're a YouTuber or you're into social media and you're wanting to do your own stuff, let me give you a little inside baseball on this. Uh, people want to watch things where, uh, A, they want to feel like they could do it, or B, they want to feel like they're watching something uh, unique be destroyed. That's why people love to see me knock holes uh, in my house and things like this. So this one uh, is, to me, it's, I'm going to pause it right here. Because I want you to see how crazy this looks. To me, this was like one of my best paintings because of the detail in Jim Carrey's um, Grinch character. Like, it looks so real. Also, this wasn't one of my most viewed ones, I think because I'm just painting on a canvas. However, look how cool the Grinch looks. The thing about the fireplace, I, man, I want this all year. One, two, That is just layers of solid color, and it looks so good. Oh, that's my Jim Carrey face. This one uh, still lives in my daughter's bedroom. A lot of people ask me, hey, do you uh, keep these paintings up? The answer is, yeah. Uh, there's a few of them we've painted over because my girls have outgrown whatever we painted, uh, and we want to do something new. Uh, but this one is timeless. Uh, to me, Peter Pan is like the quintessential classic Disney movie, and I love it uh, right here. The next one I'm going to do with this thing, actually, uh, with the Peter Pan, I'm going to get them on a ceiling fan so that when the ceiling fan's on, it looks like they're flying around the ceiling. That's the next plan uh, for Peter Pan. But for right now, this is coming right off the wall. This is how young my daughters were. This is right over a, a diaper changing table. Uh, that's how long ago this was, but I love that one. Okay, now this one is a weird one. A little inside baseball for you on uh, on how this thing works. These stencils actually are stickers. They're adhesive. Oh, that should be cool because maybe it makes them easier to. Uh, no, they're the worst. Oh. It was so difficult. Look at how many moving parts to this cactus there are. To get that thing to line up was, uh, that was a hard day. Was that not a hard day? That was a hard day. But finally, so we had to line that thing up and, and get it all in. But the cool thing was, was taking a whole bunch of colors and creating kind of a sunset behind this thing. So this is my refrigerator in the garage. Uh, I always grew up where you had a, a beverage uh, refrigerator. And that's where we keep all of the beverages and uh, leftovers that we aren't using in the main fridge. Now, wait a second. Let's go back. I'm stopping that. I got to go back to that thing. Was that a secret passageway moving bookcase? Yes, it was. Check this out. I'm pausing it again. Look, that's right back there. 
uh, we took a closet and we uh, put in a moving bookcase really quick. It looks like this. That's how quick and easy it was to put in a moving bookcase. It takes like, what, 10 seconds? Okay, no, uh, my guy Russ is laughing because it took us a lot longer than 10 seconds to put in. But after the bookcase was in, the bit was we're going to paint Scooby-Doo on the inside of this moving bookcase because when the bookcase opens up, and there's some cool ways to make the bookcase open up, you can tilt a picture frame on the wall, you can switch an Indiana Jones statue, uh, you can uh, find my favorite book and pull on that book, or you can say the password, Open Sesame, uh, which, uh, interesting note, do you know what Open Sesame means? Open says me. That's the, that's the thing. Open says me. Open Sesame. I don't, I don't know if that's true. I read it on Reddit. Uh, but when you open the door, there's a mummy inside the door that uh, Scooby-Doo uh, uh, is scared of. And you'll see just a tiny peek of the mummy uh, right there inside the door. There it is. Uh, I wrapped it myself. I wrapped him too tight. Uh, he's got a... Yeah, he's got a skinny head. That doesn't that doesn't look good. Okay, check this out. All right, so now we know the cactus thing. We've we've seen that, but stay tuned because this gets weirder. Okay, so we saw the cactus on the refrigerator. Now we're about to see the cactus on the table. But the way I paint over it is wildly different. Okay, check this out. These are gold right here, yellow right here. These are acrylic paints that are all layering on the inside. When you dump them in, as long as you don't shake it, look at this wicked thing that comes out so now this is this uh thing it was a trend online for a while and uh and it's still something i love to, to do to like so that. you can pour right there. copious amounts of paint Boom. onto the table and, and look at how cool it looks i wanted it to end up looking like a sunset it ended wow. up looking like a, a cactus, cactus in space in it was really really space. cool look at that okay uh, this is how you make a custom bed sheet, okay? This was a, so this was a, pe a design that I just loved, and I didn't have a way uh, to put this design into the wall or knocking a hole into something, but I thought it would be cool on a bed sheet. Uh, the hard thing about painting on a bed sheet is the fabric moves, uh, so it's a really difficult thing. But this ended up being this really cool beautiful art deco not art deco uh, pop art woman in a space suit uh, on this thing and we actually make it glow in the dark check this out wow that's fun yeah uh, we did crazy glow in the dark stuff on it it ended up a little bit wild this Ladies and gentlemen, right here, let me show you one of my very first ever viral paintings. This was actually my second viral painting ever. Uh, and I love it because uh, it's the goat, it's MJ, uh, as we can see. But here's the cool thing about this. I used to be a magician, right? Uh, and I did magic videos and stuff on the internet, and I traveled around doing magic shows. But then, back in 2021, oh Is it uh, I've always had an interest in spray paint art, but I finally just started filming it and putting it online. This video got, I think, 50 million views over on Facebook, and then it did a whole bunch more million on TikTok and, and the YouTube. Check this out. Look at that. Now, here's the cool thing about this. Uh, it's the layered stencil art, but this painting was the one where when I when it went up and ended up getting millions of views, I was like, maybe, maybe I should be doing something with this. Maybe I should be uh, doing more of this. Uh, so then, sticking with the basketball theme, check this out. My daughters, uh, they like look. I, I'm a I'm a girl dad, uh, much like Kobe. Uh, however. Uh, this is uh, this is not going to be Kobe, but in my love of basketball, because uh, I think basketball is the best, followed by football, and every other sport is irrelevant. Uh, the that can't be true, except for soccer, right? Oh no, the comments are going to hate me for it. Just please don't make me watch soccer, okay? I've tried to get into it. I've gotten better, but I can't do a sport 
where uh, if you look away for 30 seconds at a random time, you miss one of the three goals the entire game. That can't be. I like the pacing of football where it's like high intense moment every third down and then you can like kind of chill and then you can like intensely watch and then be chill or basketball right here where you can just like watch uh and you're never gonna like you're always gonna see good stuff happening is that is that fair to say anyway here's lebron uh the reason i say all of that is uh that uh basketball that's a rug right there uh that's a basketball court rug so we set that up so the girls could have their little nerf ball basketball thing and uh, have LeBron there, uh, which uh, didn't actually last long because uh, they they didn't uh, care for LeBron, just like Daddy. I don't really care for LeBron, but looks really cool. Okay, so there's some cool behind the scenes things on the painting. Let me give you the biggest secret coming with these paintings. If you're still watching, you've earned this. You ready for this? I am going to sell these stencils so that you can do them yourself at home. We have been working tirelessly behind the scenes uh, with a wicked company and also some big stores that you've heard of to put these stencils in stores so that you can take them home and do crazy cool stencil work uh, with your kids. You're gonna have kids spray paint, Justin? No! We have a new invention so you can get spray paint that is not from a can aerosol spray paint. It's actually a really cool device, a little handheld thing that even my four-year-old can use and paint herself. It's so awesome. I'm so excited for you to see it. Uh, this is not an official announcement. This is just a little Easter egg at the end of this video. So you can look forward to that coming. Uh, it's supposed to be direct to you later in the summer, but I think it'll be in stores at the end of the year. I can't wait. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed watching some of those paintings, hearing some of the behind the scenes, but I will catch you next time.